Hello everyone, look what I got today, I got my GeForce GTX 980, about to take this out, and it's by EVGA, and it came with a little ACX2.0 little sleeve for some reason, I don't know, but uh, we'll see what this guy has to offer. Alright, there's a bunch of stuff in this box, we got our user guide. Got the driver's disc with a little EVJ sticker, which I already have. More, and then some adapters from Molex to PCI Express. Got two of them. One of those DVI to VGA adapters, which I have like a bajillion of. And then the actual card itself, which I have a 760 right now, so I mean, it looks, it's definitely, I'd say about, I think it's about an inch bigger, and um, I'm trying to get this damn thing open one-handed, but uh, I came with those enthusiast built stickers, but I don't think I'm going to put anything like that crazy in there, uh, anywhere, I don't know what the hell to do with it, but, ah, damn it. there we go, alright. And here it is, the big bad boy itself. Um, funny enough is it's only two uh, six-pin PCI Express power, which is actually less. This thing actually uses less power than my 760. So we're gonna see how this thing does. We got one DVI, one HDMI, and three Display Ports out. Um, And this thing's really cold because it's really cold outside. I do have a backplate coming, but that'll have to be put on later. Um, all right, time to take this and put it on in. Hello, everyone. So I got the uh, 980 all securely in there and everything. And uh, and basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of give a little overview of my uh, setup. So right now. This is my main computer, um, and I'm running on some older hardware, but it was all like really good stuff for, and it still is kicking really well for me still today. So, um, first off is my processor. I have an i7 uh, 930, which uh, is it's pushing around like five years old now, but uh, I have it overclocked to four gigahertz, and to keep that baby cool, I got a Antec. Uh, H two O six fifty, and as um, this little light down here actually lights up and changes the color and everything. But I also hooked up a extra fan in the back to help keep it a little bit cooler. Um, this thing is actually really I was surprised how loud it was for anybody who's done water cooling. Uh, the fans and everything it's a lot louder than I thought it'd be. It was more louder than my old heatsink. Um, and then I have. I know it's kind of hard to see in here. Let's see if I can get a little bit extra light in there. But um, basically, I have six. I know my cable's everywhere, but I have six uh, two gigabyte uh, Corsair XMPs at 1600 uh, megahertz, and so yeah, 12 gigabytes. And then uh, my power supply is a 750 C Sonic Platinum. And um neat thing about this is it's one of those hybrid ones, so it's only the fan and everything turns on only when it has to, and this thing almost never turns on with what I have. So I actually turned it on to normal right now just to see to make sure the fan is working. Um and it is a modular power supply, so I have everything plugged in and uh and it's you know direct slots and Whatnot, and a lot of cords going everywhere because I have a lot of stuff in here. Uh, of course, this is all on a board that is a MSI uh, X58A GD65, <laughs> if I remember that correctly. And uh, yeah, I've had that this basic setup for a good three years, I think. Now I got it when it was a little bit. I got it after it was a little bit cheaper and everything, so I got a decent price when I got it. Um, 
And then I am rocking two disk drives. Let's see if I can get some light in there. There's one thing about this case is that front door is a little bit annoying. So I got one Blu-ray drive and one DVD burner. And then as I mentioned, I have that sticker sticking on there. It does have, uh this case itself is a Smilodon Raymax Gaming uh case, which I know it's super extravagant for a lot of people, but I kind of like things that light up and are shiny and whatnot. And my it was perfect for my style cuz my previous case and almost like my favorite color scheme is silver, blue, and black. So I saw this and I just had to get it. And it was on sale on Newegg, so I had to do it. Um, and then I am rocking, I'm not rocking an SSD yet. I have plans on it. But as of right now, I have two one terabyte hard drives and then an old 160 that I just can't seem to part with quite yet. Uh, this case does have an extra tray area where you can put in more hard drives. But I figured, what's the point right now? I don't have not using it and free up a little bit more room um, and have more fan access flow so with the front fan um, <clears throat> of course we got the GTX 980 but next to that is a 460 that I've had for a little bit that I'm running as uh, the physics card which we'll see how that ends up running with the two of them and um, this is yeah, this is basically my setup. Uh, the case also has um, a little couple of neat things that I will show here in a second. One thing that you'll notice about this case is it has this door and it has uh, two front USB 2.0s and uh, a uh, uh, front audio jacks for uh, headset and microphone. Uh, something that it does have is it actually has a fan here on the side that blows into the hard drives to help keep them a little bit cooler and as I walk around the table here um, of course it has the side fan that blows down onto the CPU and it has another fan here that is a little tray that you can take out that I had out that was uh, for the uh, GPU fan so of course on the back if I can and there's the my back IO and <clears throat> The uh, you know the cards and with all the DVI ports and everything, I'm gonna have to use the uh, display out and convert it to an HDMI, and then I'm gonna be using the HDMI out to a DVI converter because my one monitor for some I don't know what it is, but uh, the color arrangement, I I do not like the way it displays color on the HDMI compared to the DVI, so I'm gonna I decided to I'm gonna convert it so. Also, another nice thing about this case is, even though I just unplug stuff, but you can actually pull this out as long as you have everything unplugged. And I got to plug the CPU fan back in. If it isn't, it's pretty snug in there. But um, and you can pull this out, and you can actually work on it this way. Is just make sure you unplug everything that you need um, before you do so. Unlike me. Um, but it is it is pretty nice when you're actually working on a table and everything. So let's get this back here. Everything is hooked up and it's going. Uh, as you can see, the case lights up in several different ways. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but as you can see here, uh, as you can see, the actually the video card actually lights up down in there. And does uh, and actually will like flash and do a couple different things. Um, and there is <laughs> my uh, water cool heat sink as it lights up in blue when it's cool. Uh, basically, this is my setup. Um, I have four monitors that I use regularly. I know, yes, <laughs> some old stuff here, but um, that's of course my main one. And Steam for some reason didn't connect. <laughs> I'll mess with that later, but um, yeah, this is that's a Acer uh, H23 uh, 3H uh, mo uh, monitor. It's a little bit older, but it's a full 1080. Um, I have another Acer uh, AL 2017 I used for my second one, and then I have an old HP uh, 1280 by uh, 1024 uh, 
monitor and it's old 1600 by 1200 Dell uh, that I still have sitting around so <laughs> I will say I do not recommend these for anyone for a main screen but for a sec for a third fourth screen whatever and I do have uh, this RCA 1080 here that I sometimes hook up uh, video or whatever but I am running uh, Windows 7 64 bit ultimate and um, Let's see, my keyboard is an old SciTech uh, Eclipse 2 that lights up in blue. You can also change it to red or purple and mess with the lights and turn them off or whatever that you want to do. Uh, my Unreal mouse pad with uh, my old Death Adder that I still love to death. Uh, and I got a printer and there's my subwoofer and I have my speakers hooked up up there even though I actually moved this one because I was messing with the router and I actually do have a weird setup of surround speakers that are hidden behind things um. hey everyone um, I just kinda wanna do a little overview of the video so the this whole video this video was mostly to introduce the 980 and then I kinda went off and uh, kinda introduced the rest of my uh, what my rig is so uh, basically for the 980, I got it uh, to replace my 760, which I had replaced my 580 because uh, it died on me, and EVGA was nice enough to give me a 760 to replace it. But it, in power and everything, it was roughly the same. I got a little bit extra frame buffer and a couple, a little bit extra power, but not too much. <laughs> and then, um, so I've been kind of rocking the same card for you know three, four years now. So uh, I kind of wanted to upgrade. So, I got that, and one of the reasons, yes, for gaming, it so far what I played around with, it is overkill. Um, I'm doing full blast settings, uh, TXAA 4, and everything on very high in pretty much every game. And, I mean, this is Evolve, Evolve Crisis 3, whatever um, it is, Assassin's Creed 4. Um, it's just blowing it out of the water. Um, but... Another reason is um, I do a lot of development, and one of the things is when working on, um, and I'll show this in a video later, a more like a gameplay video, and uh, I'll do some screen capture, but um, for development, you kind of need a little bit extra power than what you plan on it actually playing on. Once you build it, it runs and it's optimized a lot better, but it uses a lot of power while you're moving around and trying to get everything to look the way you want, so and it takes a lot of playing around with so um, it uses quite a bit of power uh, so that's one of the main reasons I got it also I do enjoy it you know really kicking the crap out of games um, but <clears throat> you know it's got almost double the CUDA cores you know it has qu a quite significant uh, clock speed higher and uh, I mean the four gigs of RAM with te for textures and everything uh, VRAM really helps. Um, it's just uh, overall so far, from what I can tell, a great card. I'll go a lot more in depth in another video. But and then the uh, rest of the build I've been rocking for quite a while, uh, at least most of it, is the i7 930, which is I've had for pushing four or five years now. And I once I got the water uh, cool, I up um, overclocked it up to four gigahertz and it can get up pretty pretty hot if it's been running on 100% for a while, but for um, but it normally stays at 90 or below even if it's been going for like an hour or two. Um, and then uh, that's all. That's on a. I got to look. I remembered it in the video, but it's an X58A uh, GD65 uh, <laughs> uh, motherboard, which <clears throat> has most of the modern amenities that um we think of it doesn't it still has an old bios uh set up but it has you know you can has the power and the reset button on there um has a bios uh clear moss on the back has the usb 3.0 and it has uh sata 3 or 6 gigabits per second um so i still can rock it pretty well and it still kicks ass almost everything i want to do um and yeah the uh, I3, not the I3, the i7 930, um, for gaming still kicks ass. It, 
it very rarely hits 50% or higher on anything uh, and on the overall uh, CPU. So it's you know it still does its job um, for development purposes. It does pretty good. Um, like 90% of the time. Sometimes I got to render and it takes a little bit longer than I wish it did, but it does its job. Uh, and the 12 gigs of RAM, I want, I kind of want to upgrade to 24, but I might go wait until I get DDR4. And then the C Sonic has been flawless power-wise. It, it, I, as I said in the video, it just does every, it barely even taps into its power with the platinum status. So, uh, and then the 460, I got after I had a 430 so that's an upgrade uh, for the physics and everything and it did a lot better performance uh, for sure once I did that but I'm gonna see how it does with the 980 and see if there's a difference whether I turn it off or leave it on and see if it runs a little bit better or not so we'll see how that goes uh, then you know the hard drives um, eventually I want to raid the two one terabytes once I get my SSD and then I'm gonna just get rid of the 160 maybe turn it into an external hard drive or something like that but uh, for any backups that I need so um, that's pretty much a review of everything I have I hope you enjoyed oh and then if you want to know what headset I'm having it's a steel series uh, Siberia V2 um, I hope the audio sounds good to you and uh, the sound wise I, I love it it has enough bass that I'm happy with but not overpowering and pretty crisp and clear sound and really 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 long cable um, that sometimes I get tangled up on stuff but overall it's, it I can kind of walk out of my room a little bit with it so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time